Just a week before Christmas, 1972, the wife of newly elected Senator Joe Biden and their baby daughter were killed, and their two sons badly injured when the Biden family car was broadsided by a truck at this intersection in Delaware. The truck driver, Curtis Dunn, was never charged in the crash, but his daughter, Pam Hamill, says he too suffered. He grieved over that. He was haunted and tormented by that for years. Dunn died in 1999, but since then, his family has endured widespread rumors and reports that he had been drinking just before the collision. At least twice, Biden himself has made public references to alcohol being involved in the crash. In 2007, Biden said the truck driver, quote, allegedly drank his lunch. And multiple news outlets, including CBS News, have reported that Dunn was drunk. Hamill disputes that, saying her dad had not been drinking. The truth is, it was a tragic accident. No alcohol was involved. The police reports have been lost. But Delaware Judge Jerome Hurley, who investigated the crash, supports Hamill. He tells CBS News there was no indication that the truck driver had been drinking. Last fall, a spokesman for Biden said Biden fully accepts the Dunn family's word that these rumors were false. Now, Pam Hamill simply wants the record to be cleared. He was a good, hardworking man and a wonderful father. And her father's reputation restored. Bob or CBS News, Newark, Delaware.